Welcome to our physics practical session and we are here in the skills path networks to teach you here make sure to make sure you understand the practical and you can perform your examination in a good calculation or a good way to score the marks required. For today in physics we are going to talk about current electricity is among the practical topics. There is many specific objectives we are studying in current electricity. But uh, as you see there, we are going to determine the electromotive force and the internal resistance of a cell. So it means one dry cell like this one. This is dry cell. When you join to be two, it's going to be a battery. So that is our topic for today. But we are going to use the armature that the main apparatus we are going to use. So this is practical you are supposed to know, but you are supposed to know that for any experiment you are supposed to know the connection of the circuit that is very important so in order to know the connection you have ammeter you are going to have ammeter you are going to have resistance box and we are going to have a switch and the cell so those ones are supposed to connect it means your setup you are supposed to connect the procedure means you connect ammeter voltage uh, not resistance box resistance box you have switch and a cell in series It means your circuit should be in series. It means you are going to connect. This is cell. That one. Then you are going to connect with the switch. Then after you can connect here. Instead of this one, you can have a resistance box. Then here you can have the current. Almost this circuit is on series. This is a resistance box. This is the remote first, which is cell. This is armature, and this is switch. That is our circuit. So it means you are going to record. You have resistance and you are supposed to record the current that is flowing through your circuit. At the end you are going to determine the EMF. So I will show you the circuit here of our apparatus, then I think you will understand. Do you see that is our, our circuit? It means this is resistance box, this is a switch tape which is plug key, and this is this is actually armature, this one, and this is cell, and it's connected in series. It means you see this terminal, it means one terminal to cell another terminal to switch from the switch to resistance box and one terminal to to armature that is connection but you're supposed to to test it before doing anything it means in order to know your connection is right you're supposed to look the terminal of armature and your cell do you see the 
red terminal is positive and the, the black is negative. It means you're supposed to connect with your battery to be directly on the arrangement. It means this positive is there at, at this corner and your, your battery should lie on that, on that way. It means positive with positive and the negative with the negative. It means the first wire will connect on, on positive and the another wire is going, when is going to around your circuit is going to connect to the negative. It means positive with positive and the negative with negative should be noted and is very important. That is our connection of our circuit. Then when you test, it means you connect here. At the end, you are going to connect. Then you see the ammeter is reading the value. That is our circuit. So, apart from this one, this question, you can find the data using a circuit in reality, but make sure experiment our data is not very, very constant. There is a range. When we say range, it means our value can start with 0 0.6 up to either 1. That is the range. So, when you range this one, it means you are going to be in right data. So, we we'll be together to, to know the another method of finding the data. It means here you are going to record the R and the R meter. It means you are going to table results. Should be you are going to have resistance. You have current, then one over I. This one. One over I. This is current. And this is resistance. So this one can be identified by using your circuit. It means the first resistance is one. One, two, three, four, and five. It means from one to five. We know that resistance is inverse proportion to current. So, so it means the value should be inverse proportion. So when you start with one, it means you remove this one. You disconnect the distance one, this one. Sorry, it's not seeing careful, but you are going to record the value from your ammeter. This one. It means so this circuit use the theory. It means EMF is means EMF, our theory is that one. It means EMF is equal to I R plus R. That is our 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 theory. But we want to, to know how many current we are going to, to know. So by using the theory, this question can be, can be, can use a formula to find the data. It's very important also. So it means we want to find the current here. It means we divide by one by current both the side. It means it be current over R is equal to R plus R. It means when you want to get it means it will be E bracket one over I the same with this one is equal to R plus R. Because I need I 
I, I, it means we divide by E, divide by E. So it means 1 over I is equal to R plus R small, which is E. That is that is our equation. It means we want to find I first. It means from this one, because 1 over I is equal to R plus R over E. When you make it a shape of this value, it means I would be E over R plus R. Then we prove this one. Is equal to EMF of the cell in theoretical is 1.5. That is EMF. And the R is 0.5. R is known 0.5. So we can. It means we use this one 1.5. This value we compute in this formula. Then you are going to find the current. Of the value of the current for each that of the distance. When I use calculator here, it means for one will be 1.5 plus divided by R is one plus 0 0.5. It means will be one over 1.5. It means will be one. Then for two. The value will be 0 0.6. For 3, for 3 will be 0 0.4. And for 5, for 3, for 4, will be 0 0.3. Then for 5, will be 0 0.3. That is our, our data of current. Then after calculating, it means one over one over i it means one over this value, then I think you see the data is there. So there is other questions. It means this is our data. So yes, you are you student, you're supposed to when you use formula, it means our report is starting from the result of the table, not otherwise. It means this one you perform either in the back of your booklet or you can use real apparatus to find your data. It means when you find data, it will range like this one. So after calling the table of results, then you are going to know the nature of the graph. What will be the nature of the graph? So, according to our experiment, it's guiding us to find the graph or to plot the graph of R against 1 over I. So, according to our experiment, we have only a meter and not a voltmeter. It means our theory is this one I R plus R. So, we are supposed to compute this equation. To find the R is Y axis and the 1 over I to be X axis. It means Y should be at the subject. It means that we are going to find the R to be this side in case of Y. Then you are going to see the nature of the graph. It means in order to get 1 over I and R, it means you divide by R here. Then both sides, it means it will be E over I is equal to this I it means over R plus R, that is one. Then we want to get R at the subject, it means here 
will be this will complete to this one or oh, this one will be in this side means will be this one over i this is the same right this one is it minus r it means this time to this side is equal to r in the same right that r is equal to because we want one over i to be x this one one over i minus r and then when you compute with a linear equation it means y is equal to m x plus c so when you look this one it means your nature of the graph y intercept is negative so your graph here r 1 over i 1 over i should cut at y negative and the slope is in positive it means we will be passing through this direction and that is the nature of the graph so if you wanted to calculate EMF according to the aim of experiment and the R internal resistance you're supposed to use your graph. It means from the graph EMF you compute from M which is slope. It means when you solve slope here, it means you get you want to you are going to to get the value of int of EMF and the R you solve from resistance from Y intercept which is we are going to read here it means C is equal to negative R and then here we are going to read negative actually 0 0.5 exactly it means negative 0 0.5 is equal to negative R it means when you compute negative then here negative R is equal to, to 0 0.5 and from your table when you calculate so or from the graph actually EMF you will get the range from 1.45 up to 1.54 and the R will be 0 0.445 and then uh, also 0 0.54 that is emf of your experiment i think by using ammeter you have understand and you will be able to know the emf of the cell and the inter resistance of the cell when you join Two cells to be better it means will be twice of one. It means better will be one to three. EMF will be three and the R will be one. I think for today we end here and then I think you have understand this lesson. Thank you.